Hello everyone, welcome to the Star Wars Vault. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to see new Star Wars videos every week. So let's get right into it guys. We are officially a week away from the release of The Rise of Skywalker. Now let me tell you something. This movie is intended to be the closing chapter of a nine episode epic of really one of the greatest stories ever told. Now if you ask me, there are three characters that make the Star Wars saga what it is. These being Anakin, Luke, and Palpatine. Without these three guys, what even is Star Wars? Even in the, the end of The Return of the Jedi, which to me at least, was the most tension-filled scene in all of Star Wars to date. Who are the three guys we get to watch? You see where I'm coming from, right? It literally feels like the fate of the galaxy depended on all three of them several times throughout this saga. That brings me to why I'm making this video. I really can't stress it enough. We need Anakin in Episode 9. This needs to happen for many reasons. Look, I'm not naive. I know that Anakin, or even his alter ego as Vader, is not everyone's favorite character. However, from what I've seen and heard from others, it really doesn't matter how much you love or dislike Anakin. Just about everyone acknowledges that Anakin needs to be a part of this final chapter. He is what many consider to be the focal point of Star Wars. He is the Chosen One. He was the one to ultimately bring balance to the Force. And now that we know Palpatine will be back, which, hey, I think is great, but how can you bring him back without his former apprentice? It's like peanut butter without jelly, right? <laughs> also, don't forget that Luke has been essentially the narrator for all these trailers we've gotten so far, so you know that he will be in this as well. That's two-thirds of the characters at the center of Star Wars that are pretty much locks to be in this movie and play a legit role. So is Anakin supposed to be, like, the surprise that they're keeping from us? I mean, you've got to imagine the dynamics that could play between these characters if you make this move. Could you imagine Anakin's Force Ghost or something like that just in a standoff with Darth Sidious? I mean, this is his former master of 20 years that he betrayed to save his son, Luke and was the only one who even had the ability to defeat Sidious. Imagine how Palpatine would feel seeing Anakin after everything. Talk about tension. Now I'm very inclined to believe that this will never happen in Episode 9, but just think for a second what a reincarnated Anakin versus Palpatine would be like. Man, even if you threw Luke in there as a team of the Skywalkers taking on Sidious, it would be epic without a doubt. But if I'm trying to be semi-realistic with how they'll go about this movie, you need Anakin to come back as a force ghost in which he tries to talk to his grandson Kylo Ren and lead him toward the light. You could even have him connect with Rey because I believe there are some similarities between them and he could possibly give her some wisdom that she does not have at the moment. I actually even went over how Anakin and Rey's similarities are very, you know, they're very unique in my very first video ever on this channel. Ultimately, I really think he needs to play a role in the final battle, uh, battle against Palpatine. I have no idea how this will even look, but I just want Palpatine to acknowledge that Anakin is still here and that he won't allow him to just continue to elongate his evil shenanigans anymore. I've always wanted Anakin back, but to be honest, I didn't think there'd be as much pressure to do this until Lucasfilm decided to literally name this movie The Rise of Skywalker. So, now do it. Let the movie make sense. Have the Skywalkers rise to validate your choice of title. This being Anakin and his son Luke. And hey, if you want to throw Kylo into that group as well, I'm all good with it. So, hey, now it's time for your guys' input. Do you agree that we need to get Anakin back in this film? And what would you like to see him do, or maybe be a part of, to enhance this storyline? Let me know in the comments what you're all thinking. Be sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy my video today. It really helps the channel. My social media links, are, as always, are in the description below. But thank you to everyone for watching today. So until next time, my friends, may the Force be with you.